Thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. Noel, Dr. Prashant, uh, for that very informative session. We will be shortly starting the Professor H.K. Tiwari Memorial Gold Medal exam. Uh, the exam has a couple of formats. One will have the prelims, and prelims will be conducted by uh, having a voting pad. Have you received your voting pads? All of you have received. If uh, the resident, this is open to only to the residents. So residents who have not received their voting pads, can you raise their hand and the team will pass pass on the voting pad. Um, you know, you're going you're going to have this Dr. H K Tiwari Memorial uh, 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 quiz, but uh, I don't know whether Rashmin has told you who was Dr. H K Tiwari. Some of you may be knowing, but for most of you, it may be another generation. Professor H K Tiwari was. Uh, the mentor for uh, most of the senior uh, retinal uh, specialists over here. I'm not talking about most of the retinal specialists, I'm talking about most of the senior retinal specialists. He was my mentor, he was a mentor for Dr. Uh, Lalit Verma and Dr. Atul Kumar, who's presently the chief of RP Center. And he was one of the earliest retinal surgeons in the country. Um, he's a contemporary of Dr. Badrinath um, in Shankar Nisale. Dr. Badrinath was in uh, uh, Shankar Nisale and Dr. Tiwari uh, was there in uh, RP Center. Um, the, the, the really uh, special thing about him was not the fact that he's, he was senior. I mean, um, we all have finally, if we look and live enough, uh, there will be age on our side for some of us. He used to care and he used to care the most for the residents. Anyone could walk into his um, office and tell him his problem, and he would go out of his way to sort out that the, the problem of that resident. And this was not only, uh, I mean, this was from the time when he was uh, younger, that means an associate professor, a s additional professor, a professor, and not only at that, but even when he was chief, he found time to take care of these things. For me, he was uh, not only my guru, but he also used to prod me. He said, no, if you're not doing this, go and do something new. And you're doing something new, go and publish it. See, the role of a guru is not to teach you facts. I can, uh, you can get a parrot to do that. And in today's world, you can get the facts from Google. The role of a guru is to inspire you to become the best human being that you can be. That is not just uh, as in terms of academics, but in terms of the humanism which is involved in medicine, in terms of the emotional collect connect that you should be able to develop with your patients, and finally, the ability to think beyond what you know today, to innovate, and to, to progress with time. So he shouldn't let you stagnate. He should keep you moving. We have a current, we have lots of current generation of gurus who are following the same path. Santosh is also uh, a disciple of Dr. Tiwari and he is trying to push you on this. This quiz is not about seeing your factual knowledge. This quiz is about prodding you to look into more and more new things to see what else is there. And tomorrow, I hope you will challenge the current generation of leaders and challenge the current generation of teachers to think. You must think, the teachers must think. Then only we must, then only we will grow from a developing country into a part of the developed world. Thank you. Very well put. Uh, Dr. Talwar was my senior resident and he used to teach quite a lot. Right. So uh, we'll go to uh, the quiz. Are we ready? Do you all have voting pad? You all, all have, right? Can we have the projection? Rules. Yeah, this is the preliminary round. It'll have uh, 50 questions. And these, this is a screening round. Obviously, we're going to choose uh, the top five for the final round. Each question will have four possible answers, A, B, C, D, one, two, three, four. And the time to answer would be 10 seconds after the question is asked. So the moment I stop the question, timer will start 
and you press the uh, choice only after the timer starts if you start if you press the timer if you press the choice before the timer starts then it is obviously not registered and after the timer stops it won't be registered so during the click click phase you have to do that and uh, more in most important is that you can press as many number of times as you want if you want to change your choice from a to b to c to d you can do that within those 10 seconds and the last response will be taken as the valid response and fastest fingers first suppose you know there's a huge possibility that five of you would have a particular score say 40 points but if the person who has the fastest response is there then obviously that person will break the tie you know that's a tie breaker fastest finger got it so if you're faster then you have a better chance of winning the tie we won't we're not going to conduct a tie breaker so each microsecond is captured into the system and whoever is faster will get to win okay so that's about it so we'll go to the uh, first question which is going to be if, you, if some of you don't have a voting pad please ask for one and all of you should be residents even if you participate just for fun now that's okay but for the finals only residents will be chosen anybody can participate now this is preliminary if you want to you know test yourself you can please go ahead and participate but for the final you have to be a resident under training either dnd md do frcs whatever but you have to be a resident not host ms somebody trying for frcs not that okay so this is the first trial question what is the literal meaning of retina just a trial cloud net waterfall ice That's the timer, right? Countdown timer. Well, net is the correct answer, but some of you thought it was ice. <laughs> Doesn't matter. But you see that the timer starts at 10 seconds, but the buzz, the beep will start only at 5 seconds. That is to hurry you up. But 10 seconds, right? So faster. Can we start the beep at 10 seconds? Yeah, please start the beep at 10 seconds so that they get to understand. Okay, who is the chairman scientific committee of AIOS currently? Of course, forget about the elections. Who has arranged all this for you? Let's see if you're grateful. Wow. Somebody have already elected Partha Biswas. He's a <laughs> candidate. All right, so the ev all this program has been arranged by Dr. Lalit Baba, who is the Chairman Scientific Committee. Okay, we'll go to the real quiz now. It's going to be like this, you know, immediately you'll know the correct response and also know how many of you have voted and we also know who has voted wrong, so we can drag you later. And we'll supply that information to all fellowship institutes. Of course we won't. All right, so we'll start. Okay, the first question, World Side Day is October 17th, October 10th, 2nd Thursday of October, 2nd Saturday of October. Please be careful with this, this is a trick question. Well, it is 2nd Saturday, Thursday of October. It's not a fixed date, so third about 56% of you have got that right. Question two. Collagen cross-linking in microbial keratitis is called. <laughs> Pax CXL is the correct answer. Poor response. Question three. Transposition of minus 5 diopter sphere, minus 5 diopter cylinder at 90 degree is. Krishna Prasad's morning class would be helpful <coughs> if you had attended it. No phone a friend, please. Very nice. KP has done his job then. Eh? Okay. Fourth question. Which of the following does not structures does not pass through the superior orbital fissure? Lacrimal nerve, frontal nerve, cranial nerve, four, ophthalmic artery. <laughs> Very nice. Correct answer is ophthalmic artery, LFT. Right. Next question. What is the total number of rods in the retina? Not cones, rods. 
those are the ranges 2 to 3, 6 to 8, 20 to 24, 100 to 120 million. Very nice. They, all, they know everything, yes. No? But these are fresh questions, many of these. Which is the third layer of retina from the innermost to outermost? Outer nuclear, outer plexiform, ganglion cell layer, inner plexiform layer. Third, innermost to outermost. Answer is ganglion cell layer. Question 7. This is what we see in the fundus. Most likely diagnosis is fractional retinal detachment, thyroid fundus, epiretinal membrane, thyroid related ophthalmoplasty. The horizontal choroidal folds very typical of thyroid related orbitopathy. Next question. All mucopolysaccharidosis are inherited autosomal recessive except Hunter, San Filippo, Hurler, Motulin. Hunter is the correct answer. Next question. Aberrant syndrome is associated with which corneal condition? Macular, lattice, avalino, CFGD. <laughs> Correct answer is CFGD. Okay. Kissing dose topography is seen in Murin's ulcer, keratoconus, Tarian's marginal degeneration, pellucid marginal degeneration. <laughs> Very nice. Pellucid marginal degeneration is the correct answer. Question 11. Who introduced LASIK? Sokil, Srinivasan introduced. Correct answer is Palicaris. Srinivasan discovered or introduced Exima laser, but then Palicaris was the one who introduced it. We have Palicaris fellows in India. Well, who is credited with the oh sorry who angle of mirror of this lens is? Lens is familiar. What is the angle of the mirror? It's size formula in mirror lens and the angle is 64 degree. Question 13. An aphakic patient wears plus 10 diopter glasses at a vertex distance of 10 millimeter. What power of contact lens should he be ordered to fit on keratometer? Correct answer is 11 after. Next question, 15. After this, we'll announce 14, sorry. Which one of these is an early pathological feature of diabetic retinopathy? Just heard a lecture. Capillary basement membrane thinning, increased retinal blood flow, loss of capillary pericytes, retinal capillary closure. <coughs> Earlier signs. Pathological feature. Very nice. Loss of capillary pericytes is the correct answer. Question 15. A 60 year old man presents with double vision on left gaze. Examination findings include reduced adduction of the right eye but normal convergence. Which one of the following is most likely diagnosis? Duvan's type 3, internuclear ophthalmoplegia, Mobius syndrome, Sitzner pipe. Right? Rashmi is first. Question 16. 
V pattern strabismus is most likely to be associated with which of the following? Brown syndrome, inferior oblique overaction, inferior rectus weakness, superior oblique overaction. Inferior oblique overaction is the correct answer. Can we have the scores at this time? Let's see how you are doing. Topping at this time is 73. Who is 73? Sorry, 173. Who is that? Very nice. The next one is 169. Okay. Then 152. All right. 74. Oh. Move, move, no, you are sitting with your competitor. I think you should move. Okay. Let's go to the next question, 17. According to ES, ES, ESCRS uh, 2013 guidelines, which of the following drugs is the drug of choice for preventing post-op endophthalmitis? Correct answer is intracameral cefuroxime. Question 18. Silicon oil in stachychia is causes mild hyperopic shift, severe hyperopic shift, mild myopic shift or severe myopic shift. Very simple question. Severe hyperopic shift. Question 19. I am not going to show you what is the finding. It is very obvious. If this patient has this in the anterior segment, what is the orbital lesion he or she is most likely to have? Xanthogranuloma, pilocytic astrocytoma, meningioma, melanoma. That's niche nodules, obviously NF1, so most likely orbital lesion is optic nerve glioma or pilocytic astrocytoma. Okay, question 20. This capsule support goes by the name of what? Stierney, Ahmad, Mekul, Bhattacharya. Suvain Bhattacharya. Oh, that's an Ahmad segment. And what about Suvain Bhattacharji? What has he introduced? D head. Nice. Okay. 21. Most common autoimmune condition associated with peripheral ulcerative keratitis is vaginus, relapsing polychondritis, rheumatoid arthritis, SLE. Correct answer is rheumatoid arthritis. Very nice response. 22. What is this in Braille? There is a pattern you can break it. What you most want it at this time? Food. <laughs> okay. Identify this. RAF ruler is correct and two are very patriotic. They said IAF ruler. 24. Diagnosis. This is an INJ's picture. What is the diagnosis? Brown syndrome, monocular elevation deficit, Duvan's type 2, bloat factor. Answer is Brown syndrome. 
25. You have heard this gentleman today morning, Harminder Singh Duba. Which journal is he editor of? IGO, BGO, Yukonia, Punjab Journal of Ophthalmology. Or is it Amritsa Journal? Yukonia is the correct answer. He was the editor of BGO earlier. All our character processes except Rose K is the correct answer. It's a contact lens. 27. Patients having the features shown in the picture, I won't tell you whether it's hand or foot, <laughs> are likely to have one of the following ophthalmic findings. Blue sclera, megalocornea, microspherophakia, or nanophthalmos. Very nice. What is that you see in the picture? Tabi short fingers. Feature of wheel marches and his finger. Hold that. 28. Identify the surgery common to all these celebrities. Of course, you identify them, but if you don't, I have given their names at the bottom. Including JFK. Squint is the correct answer. They all have squint and they have been operated by very good surgeons, obviously. Okay, irregular astigmatism is most commonly caused by which of the colon dy corneal dystrophy? Macular, epithelial basement membrane, central cloudy dystrophy of Francois, granular dystrophy. <laughs> Correct answer is epithelial basement membrane dystrophy. Question 30, after which we'll have the scores again. Which one of the following exhibits X-linked dominant inheritance? Accardis, Fabris, myotonic dystrophy, Norris. <laughs> 10 of you got it. Okay, last scores. 173 is still leading, followed by 174, who is next to him. Okay. 152. Who is 152? Okay, you are still leading. 10. 10 is at the back there. Good. Six, 167. Good. So male dominant pick today. Generally, it's female dominant, it shows. Okay, question 31. Which of the following state statements is most accurate when describing the properties of Placido disk based topography system? You can read the choices. Correct answer is accurate fixation is essential. Very nice. 33. Which of the following would be the most useful MRI scan mode to detect inflammation involving extraocular muscles, such as PED or you know, myositis? Flare sequence, stir sequence, T1-weighted, T2-weighted. Answer is stir. Question 33. Simple question. Looking at this, Hess, what is the diagnosis? Left eye third <coughs> palsy, right eye third palsy, left inferior oblique, right superior oblique. <coughs> Correct answer is uh, left eye third palsy. 
which muscle inserts farthest from the limb medial rectus lateral rectus inferior oblique superior oblique superior oblique is the correct answer wrong is it that's the answer given anyway whatever is there is in the etdra study for laser treatment of diabetic macular edema moderate visual loss occurred in 12% of treated eyes compared to 24% of untreated eyes in 3 years what is the value of nnt that's number needed to treat in this study approximately quickly calculate nnt all of you are not answering huh it's dropping down the numbers who are answering is dropped down significantly anyway nnt is supposed to be 9 yeah question 36 ray is a movie hollywood movie sorry the hollywood movie what was it based on rop retinitis pigmentosa choroidremia congenital glaucoma congenital glaucoma what's next identify the chart snellen teleropsin etdrs lcd <laughs> teleropsin is correct contrast sensitivity chart i think number responses picked up significantly to this question identify the chart sorry identify the famous personalities steve charles jerry shields donald gas charles kelman <laughs> correct answer is charles kelman point to note is that they were operating like this a few decades ago cataract surgery without cap mask can we imagine doing it now okay what accompanying sign would you expect in this patient who has this topography picture <laughs> correct answer is fleischer's ring that's early keratoconus question 40 you are considering performing cataract surgery on a 50 year old patient with a refraction of minus 5 sphere the patient has had examiner laser surgery for myopia 10 years previously which of the following is the most likely complication of cataract surgery in this patient cme dis dislocated intraocular lens hypermetropic refractive surprise retinal defect first year's question hypermetropic refractive surprise okay all our studies on armd except reads is the correct answer rest of them are armd studies next is thickness of icl 200 100 150 implantable collagen collamellar lens <laughs> 100 micron is the correct answer 43 p deck was described by dua melis fogla <laughs> fogla has also described some many things <laughs> He may have described PDEC. Well, there are folks 
take us for folk la correct yeah but the correct answer is duga he described it the person to perform it for the first time was no pdex close home chennai amaragavar he performed it for the first time but it was described by the procedure was described by duga he didn't have a right patient but amaragavar happened to have a right patient and he used it okay that will that will be for the next class as per nice guideline on diabetic macular edema what is the most likely initial treatment option for dmo more than 400 micron from foveal involve with foveal involvement dr bavankile didn't touch on nice guidelines very good 45 identify this August. Next question, forty-six. We are coming very close to fifty now. Identify this clinical condition. This dosen is the correct answer. oldest organized eye hospital in asia minto bangalore government eye hospital chennai snec singapore rp center delhi yes that's 200 year old in fact it's celebrating its bicentennial this year who invented direct ophthalmoscope keeler Helmholtz, Hein, Oppersum. See, there is a taker for Oppersum. You see that? <laughs> Who invented aplanation tonometer? The first, first aplanation tonometer. Explanation type tonometer, the first one. See that that's important. Make a call. Okay, what is the most likely diagnosis? Correct answer is here. So that is fifty. Can we have the score? Top five will be called for the final. One seventy three still stands in position one. One sixty seven. Okay, great. Twenty three. Twenty three. Okay. Fifty two. One fifty two. Okay. One seventy four. All right. You can come up. You also bring a pen and a paper. Paper is here, I suppose, but. Can you keep the scores and say here? Sorry.
Can we have the slides? Yeah, please come up and introduce yourselves. We have all the five claimants. Okay, fine. And you sit in the same order. Number one sits in the first position. Number two sits in the second position. Number three in the third. Fourth and fifth sit here. Pencil is also okay. Who is fifth? Can we have the slides? Correct. So this is going to be the final round. We have kept it very short because obviously you are all hungry and hypoglycemia and quiz doesn't go so well. Okay, this is going to be uh, not a conventional kind of type of questions. Rashmin will uh, explain to you how the progressive round is and then we have uh, one, uh, one more uh, association round as well. Okay, so this is going to be very quick and of course the final three will be selected for what is called a Jaldi 5, or Jaldi 9, whatever, number of questions in two minutes. Now, uh, 10 seconds would be the response when you ask a question and rules of the special rounds will be described on the go. And that's a rapid fire question anyway, I'll, I'll describe the rules at that time. So uh, this will be what is called a progressive clue, which means that Rashmin, can you explain what is a? So uh, basically, each one of these clue is pointing towards a common entity, right? It can be a disease, it can be a person, it can be a place. So if you guess what we are talking about in the first clue, you get plus fifteen. If you get it wrong, you get it minus five. Then you go to the second clue, you go to the third clue here. You should not speak out the answer. Raise your hand, I'll come to you, write down the answer, and we'll tell you whether you're right or wrong. Got it? You don't speak out. Don't, don't speak out the answer, write it, and call me. And if you write it wrong, then you get a negative point, but nevertheless, you can try for the second, second. Uh, clue also. So you might be able to even out if you got a negative in the first one. Okay, we'll start now. The first one, you ready, Rashmin? Some of these are very long stories. He was a professor of ophthalmology in Lausanne who pioneered the procedure of igni puncture. He was nearly awarded the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine for his innovations in ophthalmology. He was seriously considered by the Nobel Committee in 1934, note the year. A questionnaire on his research was sent to ophthalmic authorities around the world, among which all replied favorably except one of his own countrymen who was envious of him. So it was postponed to the year, next year, 1935, but he unfortunately died. So he missed the Nobel Prize by a whisker because he died. Nobel Prize is never awarded posthumously, easy. Okay, so what's your name? Uh, Niranjan. Niranjan, okay. Are, he's still blocking it. Kagaz nahi dikhayenge kinds. Okay. He gets it right, well done. Round of applause, just by this he has guessed who the person is, he gets plus 15. Nobody else? Okay. Second clue is this, his picture and his uh, post-operative clinic, where his nurse is patching up the eyes and he's towering over with a long mush. Plus and 10, minus 5. But he need not have had a snellence chart there, no? <laughs> <laughs> that's also a Just clue. Just the fingers. <laughs> yeah, that's also a clue. Anybody? Nobody? Okay, third is this. Put it all together. Still raise the hand, don't shout out the answer, yeah. Plus five, no negative. He gets plus five. Wow, audience? Somebody who did something for retinal detachment? Dr. Santosh gets it. Wow, you get it. So it's Jules Gornet, correct answer. Well done. All right, he almost got the Nobel Prize. And the procedure was called igni puncture. That was mentioned in the first slide itself. That's what he called it. Okay. That is SRF drainage from the external side. The second set of questions. 
born in i can't pronounce this landskorn of sweden he was a professor successively of eye therapy that's ophthalmology and of optics in the university of uppsala he was elected as a member of royal swedish academy of sciences in 1905 and served on the academy's prize committee for physics while serving on the committee he used his position to block imagine einstein from receiving a nobel prize in physics for his theory of relativity he blocked einstein but because obviously he was not there in the committee the next year einstein got it so who was this guy he is an ophthalmologist who blocked einstein Im imagine how powerful they were Any takers? Okay. Nobody? <laughs> Maybe you should start gambling. Just raise your hand if you're guessing. Plus ten, minus five. Yeah. Next one. One and two have guessed. Plus five. Plus five. And zero. Audience? Don does, no. Somebody else also read. <laughs> Correct. OK? We'll go to the next one. <laughs> don't, please, audience, no, I think you uh, know it, but please don't blurt out the answer. Clue number one, that's it. Nobody? We'll move? Yeah. yeah. Name we want, name. No? Clue number two. Nice. Somebody appreciates my work. <laughs> nice. These are midnight ideas. Yes, the audience knows. Very relevant. Audience? Yeah. Name, name, name. Absolutely correct. So he was the visual blower for coronavirus infection in China. He was an ophthalmologist. When he started seeing patients with unusual symptoms, he actually went on to social media and even rep reported to that medical authorities, but he was penalized because they thought he was rumor mongering. And he's an ophthalmologist and he contracted coronavirus and he died, unfortunately. And he was a very good ophthalmologist, young one, very good. Li Wen Liang. Next question story again. I remember lying there listening to the doctor describe exactly what he was doing to a large group of international doctors who were present for the procedure. Since I had no vision, there was a grey nothing. As he removed the damaged cornea, everything became a velvet block, black. He prepared the square graph by measuring the opening and applied it. I couldn't believe it. Suddenly, I could see my doctor's face with a surgical mask and another doctor wearing a turban. Obviously, the turban guy is an Indian, but we don't know who it is. This was a description by Sid Cla Clark, a young boy of 15 in 1941. Who was he talking about? That is the first graph done with this technique, picture, real picture. And imagine he maintained 6-6 six, six vision until he was 71, this patient. Square graphs are something you can consider. No? We'll go to the next clue. how meticulous ophthalmologists were he designed an instrument and how beautifully has described it 
measurement to measurement, design to design, by hand, all this by Plus hand. Plus 10 minus 5. That's called the name of the person. Yes. yes. Can anybody of you draw this? So complicated he has done this. And an excellent surgeon. You can do it. Thank you. Plus 10 minus 5. Okay, Niranjan is gambling. And he gets minus 5. This is what I also guessed. Minus 5. Okay. Anybody else? I, okay, sorry. <coughs> Conyo Society, when it started in 1975, was named after him. You can still try again. Conyo Society of obviously US. Zero. She has written an essay here, but it's zero. Essay type. <laughs> zero. Huh? Audience? Absolutely correct. <laughs> Ramon Castorio. Castorio was the person. We go to the next one. He was born in a small village in Litran in Punjab. As the eldest son among a fair farming family, his mother decided he should go to medical school because there was no physicians in the area and no medical help was available when anyone in his family was ill. In 1946, he started his medical education in King Edward Medical College in Lahore. Unfortunately, par because of partition, he was transferred to Amritsar. In 1955, he accepted the only available academic position in, uh, available, which was in the anatomy department in a newly opened government medical college, Patiala. So why are we talking about him? Who is he? Anatomy department. Where are we worried about an anatomy department assistant professor? You know, you seem to know everything, no? Nobody is getting. You can go to the second place. Nobody reads IGO these days. Plus no? 10, minus 5. Well done. Plus 10. That was also a clue. <laughs> he was featured on the cover of IGO, Living Legend. <laughs> Nobody? <laughs> correct. That's the correct answer. Son Singh Harry. It's impossible. <laughs> okay. Prashna. Yep. Okay. So now we have four questions again here uh, I don't want you to write anything all four videos or pictures are connected there is an underlying theme okay so just look at the video at any point in time if you say first video you say and then you know what we are talking about you call me again write down if you get it right you get plus 30 if it's wrong at that time it's minus 20 second attempt second clue if you say what we are talking about plus 20 minus 15 plus 15, minus 5 in the third one, and the fourth one is plus 10, okay? All four clues are connected. You don't need to call me at each clue, all right? As to, uh, I don't want to know about the clue. If you know what we are talking about, call me. Let me hear the first video. Sound nahi aara. Sound chahiye, na? Great on afternoon and at the Sydney Cricket Ground, which you know is such a, I hate the word, but iconic uh, thing in Australian sport. Looking back, I think it was something like 46 You're years. You're talking about this guy. Previous to that, before Australia had a New Zealand team on Australian soil. So besides the fact that David Brockoff was the last to win it over there, and uh, there was also this added thing that uh, was the first game the All Blacks had lost for a long, long. So anybody knows? This is a little tough, the first one, so no, nobody? We go to second clue. This is all beyond ophthalmology to make it interesting, right? Yeah. I don't like that, Holmes. I don't like the people you're mixing with. I should have thought in your new position you would have cultivated worthier friends. I hope you enjoy their rabbit pie. <laughs> Mr. Holmes, I appreciate the fact that you are here to help me. Nevertheless, I would remind you that you are also a guest in my house. Good night. Good you night. know what uh, we're talking about, right? We well, I do think you might... What a little stop talking nonsense. You know my neighbors. Couldn't you see I was being purposely rude? I wanted him to go without us. Anybody trying? Don't you realize what that means? Sir Henry is to die tonight. 
next All clue. Right. Nobody is trying. We go to the next clue. It's clue number three. There have been 10 cases of unexplained coma in young, healthy patients in the last year. Now, don't you find that surprising? Now, I'm not surprised that you turn out with serious, unexplained side effects. Medicine isn't perfect. There is an underlying theme to all three, and if nobody gets it, then we go to the last clue. This is plus 10, zero. Last clue is there's no video. There's no video. Just a picture? Just a picture. Yeah. Number four is trying. Just try You it. can write it down. No, write it down. No, I don't want name of the person. These four things are connected. Common to all these four. If you know who this is, probably you'll know. Common to all these four. Yeah, yeah then you write. write. Just one word. No, I don't want his name. Common, what is common to all these four? No. Clues that you said. What is, what, is, what is common to all of these? You just underline, you know, in this essay. Okay, she gets plus 10. You also try. So number, three, uh, number four gets plus 10. Where is it? Right? No, there is no negative answer. What are you looking for? No. No. Audience? What are they all? What are what links these four things? Who who is this guy? Now Syrian what is president he? and what is he? He is an ophthalmologist. He's a trained ophthalmologist. The so previous one was the movie Coma. Robin Cook, who wrote it, is an ophthalmologist. Watson. Not Watson. Arthur Conan Doyle, who created Sherlock Holmes, was an ophthalmologist. And first one was that rugby player, professional rugby player from Australia, who was an ophthalmologist. So the number four got it right. So that if what if connected if you was don't like cataract surgery, you know what to do now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Top. Now Maya will give us the scores, and we'll go to top. Number two is leading with the. 20. Number one is uh, second by 15 marks, and number four is plus 10. So these are the top three. Okay. One, low, two, and low scoring, because we had mostly mute questions. All right. So let's have the top three sitting together, and the other two can leave. Thank you so much. Give them a round of applause. I mean, they <laughs> came to top five, and you can sit here, no problem. So who is number one? Number two is number one, right? And uh, number one is number two, <laughs> and she's three. <laughs> okay, we'll this, uh, this is a rapid fire round. Here we'll start with number three first. Okay, so you have the maximum chance of um, scoring. Each correct response will get 10 points. Each uh, negative resp wrong response will get minus five. Either it is plus 10 or minus five, and I'll keep the time, not to worry. This is a rapid fire round. So there'll be nine questions that will be asked and answered in two minutes. Yeah, you can try. Don't you ready? Time. You have mic ready? Yeah. It's working? Check the mic, is the mic working or not? Hey. Yeah, that's it. Just check if it's, say hello. Hello? Yeah, good. So corneal epithelial and endothelial layers are capable of regeneration. True or false? Who's uh, that? In endothelial layer is not uh, capable. No, no, of true or false, that's all false. you should say. False, only epithelium regenerates. Photoreceptor nuclei are found in the outer nuclear layer. False. She gets plus 10 already, and this is true, so this is minus 5. Anterior suture in the lens has an inverted Y shape. False. True or false? False. False is correct. So she gets 25 already. Question? No. Second one, he got it. She got yeah. 15. Okay. 15. Fourth question. True or false again? Primary visual cortex is in Broadman's area number 18. False. False is correct. It's 17. One percent of body's vitamin A is stored in the retina. True or false? True. F 
falls, it's 0.01%, main source is liver. Ecotopic conditions are likely to worsen aqueous outflow, true or false? False. False, you said? Pass, sir. Pass, you said. Pass is zero. It is true. Pupil dilate, hence increasing outflow resistance. Question seven. Oh, shit. <laughs> Characteristic of... No, one second. Can you block it? Can you change the... You didn't see the question, no? No, sir, I saw. You saw the answer also? Yes, Lovely. Sir. A round of applause for that honesty. Well <laughs> okay, you tell me the answer. So tell me the question and the answer, both. Sir, answer was also suspense. I didn't see the question, but you saw ah, so you, you tell me the question. If you see, saw the answer, you tell me the question. Sir, uh, uh, ulcer suspense is um, uh, most commonly the, the tendency of the ulcer to push the nerve cells to generate pneumonia. Ah, so which organism? A student gave me this question. No, pneumococcus. Okay, so we'll give that to you. You said the answer, you said the question at least. Characteristic hypopion ulcer caused by pneumococcus is known as ulcer suspense. So she gets fluid wave during hydrodissection of lens is called. Mechanical fluid wave. One word answer. Hydrodissection. Pass. Pass. It's Hirschman's wave. Name the field defect in chronic arachnoiditis. By temporal hemianopia. So, how much does she get? She gets 30 marks. 30 marks, very nice. So, we'll go to uh, number one. This is number two now. Okay, you ready? Yes. Your questions will be somewhat similar. Substantia propria of, of stroma forms how much percentage of total corneal thickness? 3%. Stroma, 3%. Wrong. 90%. It's Stroma. minus 5. Uh, uh, spot of Marriott is also known as? Pass. Blind spot. Volume of AC, anterior chamber plus posterior chamber E. About? Pass. It's 0 0.31, 0 0.25 plus 0 0.06. Question 4. Ophthalmic artery is a branch of? Internal carotid. Correct. Plus 10. Question 5. Number of ciliary processes is about? Pass. 70. Diopteric power of a biconvex lens with a focal mm -hmm. length of 50 centimeters is? Two. Two is correct. Seven, true or false? Just say true or false. The common canaliculus lies in front of medial palpebral ligament. True. False, it is behind the medial palpebral ligament. Question eight. Wittnell's tubercle is found in the zygomatic True. Bone. Correct. Plus 10. Question 9. My, you are getting it, no? Or do I have to be slow? Okay. Levator in an adult can raise the lid by approximately 25 millimeters. True. True. How much does she get? Oh. 30 marks. 30 marks. Yeah. Okay. So all set. You ready? Yes, sir. Average endothelial cell count per square millimeter in an adult is about? Uh, 2,500 to 3,000 cells per cubic millimeter, uh, per, uh, millimeter square. The answer given by a corner specialist is what I've taken. It's 2,800, so you get it right. Uh, average, okay, the lens derives its new nourishment. Aqueous humor. Aqueous humor is correct. What is, the, what is the portion of hypermetropia that gets revealed by using cyclopegic drug called? Uh, 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 facultative uh, latent, latent hypermetropia. True or false? The nasolacrimal duct passes downwards, backwards, and medially. False. Yeah, it uh, passes downwards, backwards, and laterally. It's false. Question five: Upper eyelids are supplied by branches of ophthalmic artery. Okay. Pass. Okay. Orbit is connected to pterygo palatine fossa by the inferior orbital foramen. True. Foramen. Okay. It is false. Fissure. It is inferior orbital fissure. 
Question seven. Cornea is supplied by which nerve? Trigeminal. Mesothelial nerve. Should we give that? Five. Okay. We'll give you five. There are dash long posterior and dash short posterior ciliary arteries. Pass. Two and twenty. <laughs> Last question. Depth of AC in an adult is about. Uh, 2.5 mm. 2.5 is correct. So he gets that. So he gets 35 marks. 35 points. <laughs> Please introduce yourselves. Uh, Dr. Varun Upadhyay from MGM, MGM Medical College, Indore. I am Niranjan from. Uh, RIO GOH Egmo Chennai. Okay. Just produce quiz stars, RIO. Right. What about I you? I am Dr. Vidisha Rani from Patna Medical College. Oh, nice. So, uh, the final scores at the end of second round Dr. Vidisha, she has got 40 marks. Dr. Niranjan has got 45. And uh, the, from, uh, the winner is from Indore, 55 marks. Yeah. Okay. Can you just write down your name and uh, contact number and email ID and pass it on to me. Okay, you won't get a cash prize. Let's check with Dr. Lalit Verma, but you'll, the winner will get a medal next year in the AIS conference. Okay, congratulations, thank you. The top five can also give me, the other two can also give me their email ID, name, full name as you want in the certificate and the mobile number so that we'll pass it on to scientific committee for the certificate.